Now, one thing I forgot to mention is you can go up here to rent the render cog and you can turn on use ray tracing in Marmoset 4. Um, I'm probably gonna keep it off while we're just working. It's always good to turn on eventually. You'll get much more accurate results uh, in all of your render properties generally, but in this case, I don't need it on while we're just applying materials, I don't think. Uh, if I need to turn it on, I can always just go over here and boop, turn it on. And while we're in Marmoset, let's just go ahead and texture this thing up. So I'm gonna go from the classic tab over here to the texture tab. So we have our main camera full quality uh, viewport and your viewport does have to be full quality in order to use ray tracing. If it's not full quality, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna show up. Um, you're also gonna have your canvas over here, which is where your textures will show up while you're in the layer mode. And then when you switch from materials to layers, you're gonna see it's gonna tell you add a texture project. You can also add that from the scene menu, add object, texture project, and under the texture menu, new texture project. We'll just go over here in your layers, click add texture projects. We have a new one here. Let's go back to materials. And it's the first thing it's gonna look for over here is your linked material. Well, the first thing up here is your project resolution. We'll turn this down to 29, 2048. And then take this truck render mat and just drag and drop that material over here. Now you're gonna see it kind of breaks a little bit. The only thing uh, this kept was the displacement map. If I turn the plane here, it kept our displacement, which is nice, uh, but it dumped everything else. Not a huge deal. Again, let's go back to our main camera, 80 and zero. Kind of looks cool, a little toon shader. Uh, but how we fix that is we go down here and we touch that texture project again to get to the texture project properties. And then again, go back to your Windows Explorer that you're pulling from all these maps and just start plugging these in. So we have a curvature map uh, already baked. However, that is stuck in Painter. Easy enough to get out. Just select your curvature map, right click, export resource. You can dump it right in that folder, say select folder, and then boom, it'll export that curvature map. There's an alternative to that. You could go back into ZBrush. Let's change this to, um, doesn't really matter. Just choose a material you don't wanna, you don't mind overriding, just say dots O metal. Go back in here and say load, navigate to C program files, Pixel Logic ZBrush 2021, Z startup, Z plug 64, ZBrush compositor data, and all these Z materials is what you can pull from. If you wanna pull in cavity substance, just go ahead and double click that. That's the Z material, go ahead and turn off polyframe. Make sure SSS, shadows, and AO is off. Click VPR, and there you go. There's another curvature map. All you gotta do is go in here. Again, go to the folder you're dumping all this stuff. We'll call this Curvature ZBrush. So we got two curvature maps we can pull from, just a couple different alternatives. So we'll go back into Marmoset, throw one of those in there. Throw in your normal map. Your normal object is your world space normal map. Same deal with this one. You can export it from Painter. You can go ahead and just say select folder, or you can load up the Z material in ZBrush and render that out. But I'm just gonna take the world space normal map that painter dumped in here and drop that right into our normal object. Material ID is our ID map and our AO is our ambient occlusion. Now, how Marmoset is going to be using these maps is, for example, like the AO is gonna use the curvature and the AO to kind of find the crevices in your model and then put dirt there if we do a dirt generator. So that's just why we need these plugged in. You can also add more, more maps in here. For example, if we had to, if you wanted to use thickness, we had substance for scattering, we'd turn that on. Just add that here and just plug that in, but I think we'll be fine. So now let's go from the material tab over here to the layers tab and start texturing this thing up. 